begin. Unconfirmed reports of an accident at Southland Park. I can't find my boy! Hundreds of family members gathered outside the deserted park today to commemorate the second anniversary of the Southland Park tragedy. A full investigation of the park's safety. Authorities report at least 30 deaths and close to 100 injuries. Five years since the tragedy closed the gates of Southland Park, but new evidence is claiming malicious prosecution and believes he'll be vindicated at last. Every penny of his fortune defending himself from these lawsuits. Defending Southland Park all the time. There were people flying everywhere. Body parts, and the victim's families oh have God. vowed to appeal the decision. Not guilty. Cleared of all charges. This training level will introduce to you the various skills and techniques required to effectively undertake the missions ahead. Welcome to the States, 47. This should be a straightforward operation. We need you to penetrate an abandoned amusement park, locate the owner, and take him out. The target is a Joseph Clarence, also known as Swing King. An accident involving one of the rides at the park a few years back forced him to close it down. Our client has made a special request that the photograph you have in your possession be the last thing the target sees. Mr. Clarence has somehow become involved with a narcotics distribution ring, so the park may still have some amusements. Enjoy the ride, 47. What the fuck you looking at, Cracker? I'm here to see Joseph Clarence. Never heard of him. Mr. Swing King? Oh, that sorry ass to hear. What the fuck they call you? Names are for friends, so I don't need one. <laughs> oh.
Gotta check you, white bread. All right, you cool. I can get the money, sweetie. It's as good as mine already. Mr. Spook's got it. We'll open the park. It'll be like old times. No, no, just a few more days. You gotta believe me. Don't say that, sunshine. Mr. Spook's gonna come true, baby. He's good for the money. I won't sign the papers. I won't. You gotta give me one more chance. You gotta. Baby cakes? Sunshine? Hello? It's been a while now, uh, Scoop, and I was just wondering uh, where we were on the whole money thing. Were you? Yeah, see, the thing is, if you remember, you know what we agreed to was, it'd just be a short while and you'd pay in cash, and, and uh, I know the, what the pressure was you were under must be, but the deal is a deal, and I was hoping, you know, maybe you could just pay what? we agreed on, even though you've been here for, heck, 
more than twice as long as we agreed to, but just pay the original amount and move on. Not right away, necessarily, but, you know, I'd appreciate it. No. Ha! Oh. <laughs> Like you don't need no fancy wrapping, do she? Depends who's unwrapping me. God damn, girl. I'd have your fine ass unwrapped before you could say, Who's that handsome stud on time our river? I bet you could. Uh -huh. Oops. <laughs> That's Uncle Joe. Better get back to your post. Thanks, Carol. That's all. Are you all right? Yeah, fine. Go on. <sighs> Who the hell are you? How'd you get in here? Carol Ann! My client has hired me to show you this photograph. I don't understand. My client has asked me to ensure it's the last thing you ever see. Please, look at the photograph, Mr. Clarence. Oh, please. Haven't I suffered enough? Don't you think I know how much suffering I'm responsible for? Ah!
got an intruder scoop. Some motherfucker busted in on Jay Z's watch. You know, I don't like uninvited guests. Ask God bust it. Tapping his ass cool. But I remember what you were saying about playing it cool, yo. And I tried to play it cool. But the cracking got by me. That all. I see. It was my orders that called. <laughs> Rick Henderson, first edition. He's expecting you. This way. Rick Henderson. I've been looking forward to this. As have I, Mr. Alexander. Don't let's stand on ceremony. Call me Jack. Rick. Make yourself comfortable, Rick. I'll be right with you. I admire your work. Real journalism. Thanks. I thought we'd start with your thoughts on the White House attack. Then discuss your tenure as director of the FBI, post-retirement reflections, whatever, and... Rick. Or if you want to sound off on politics... Rick. My apologies. This interview about me is just a cover for a more sensitive story. I'm sorry to have lured you here under false pretenses, but I couldn't risk a leak. I'm not sure I understand. Don't worry. It's the scoop of the century. If I had a dime for every time I heard that... Listen, please. It begins with a little incident at a vineyard in Chile that caught my eye some time ago. This was a family business. Fernando Delgado and his son Manuel. Well-liked, hard-working men. Have a look at the folder. Hello, 47. Your next target's in Chile. His name is Fernando Delgado. Used to be a colonel in Pinochet's intelligence service. Now he's running a cocaine factory under cover of a vineyard. Satellite imaging suggests the lab is underground. Fernando's son, Manuel, is on the coke trade. So to make it look like a drug hit, you'll have to take him out too. We'll get you in with a pensioner's club from Santiago for the big celebrity unveiling of Delgado's new wine label, named for 80s B-action star Rex Stanton. There'll be at least one TV crew on hand, so keep an eye on them and their cameras. Delgado's got a seaplane, and that may be your best way to get out in a pinch.
Fernando Delgado es un hombre maravilloso. No tienes nada que hacer aquí.
the scoop of the century is a couple of wine guys getting whacked in Chile? It wasn't the victims that caught my eye. It was their killer. I believed it was Mr. 47. The bald killer clone? Come on, Jack. He's an urban legend. Even the CIA and your own FBI say he doesn't exist. We say a lot of things, Rick. It's part of the job. Delgado was a very successful man. Successful men in that part of the world tend to be, well, call it security conscious. Not many people could have done this thing solo. So you went running after a myth? Myth? No, no. It merely caught my attention. One of my CIA friends was also intrigued. The opera incident heightened our curiosity. Have a look. to the Vatican. Our client claims they're behind a prostitution ring trafficking in boys and girls from Eastern Europe. Tosca is still in rehearsal, so there's plenty of activity at the Opera House and you shouldn't be too conspicuous. Ambassador Delahunt watches most rehearsals from his box. He travels with an armed escort, but there shouldn't be any other security to speak of. You'll get some cover from the construction crews renovating the theater for the new season. We've also left you a pickup in the cloakroom. In the third act of Tosca, the tenor faces a firing squad. That scene may provide a useful opportunity. It's a straightforward assignment, 47, but the agency's been having some problems in Paris. Use extreme caution. Here is your jacket, sir. Don't you want the jacket, sir? No, just needed something from one of the pockets. I'll pick it up later. What's going on here? They rehearsed for Milan, but there is also much construction. Very busy. I'm sorry it's not a more lovely experience. I see. But it's an open rehearsal. Bien sûr. We have many guests all the time. You talk English. Today we have American ambassador to the Vatican. He watched from second floor loge. He come all the time. The ambassador's a big opera fan? Opera, maybe. 
Many I think he's a fan of Alvaro. More than fan, more than friend. As to me, they are, um, how would you say? I understand. Je vais devoir vous fouiller, monsieur. C'est bon, merci.
Dieu merci que ce n'est qu'un décor. Ça devrait exploser. Speme l'anima freme in celestia crescente ardor ed in armonico
You think that was 47-2? We knew it was. We were so confident we set up an international task force to hunt him down and destroy him. Even assuming this guy exists, he's still just an assassin. What's the big deal? The big deal? He's the perfect clone. His DNA is a how-to manual for any cloning lab in the world. With Mr. 47 in their clutches, there'd be nothing to stop a rogue state from building an entire platoon of 47s. A whole army. These public statements you've been making against cloning, is this what it's all about? Of course. But surely you can't oppose all the uses of cloning. The medical advances, the possible curing of- Medicine won't do us much good if we're all the slaves of some clone army dictatorship, will it? Off the record, Jack. You're not serious. You have no idea how serious. That's why we had to eliminate 47. Having him on the loose was just too dangerous. Why not go after whoever created him? Oh, we did. But whenever we got too close, our agents got killed. By 47? See for yourself. Eleven forty-five. I'm sorry we have to meet like this. It's dangerous to meet in person. You're normally more prudent. What's going on? Looks like we've got a mole at the agency. Here's your briefing. Thanks. I'll read it later. How's that wound healing? Fine. Are we done here? One thing. We haven't been able to get a positive ID on the target. There's a government agent in there already, though we think he knows. The price for his knowledge is getting him out alive. And that raises my price. Already factored in. Take this. Designer poisons? The clinic only lets clients out when they're fully recovered or dead. The injection puts its victim into a hibernatory state. Apply the antidote on the lips to revive them. What if this agent's already dead? I trust you, 47. The money's been transferred to your account. It's good to have you back, 47. I'm glad to hear you're fully recovered. Your next assignment's in Northern California. Three mobsters have been checked into a rehab clinic for alcoholics. One of them plans to turn State's witness as soon as he's discharged. Our client wants to avoid that, but we don't know which of the three is the target. An undercover agent placed at the clinic to find out hasn't been heard from in a few days. The clinic will only discharge patients if they're sober or dead. The agent who's in there is apparently being kept drunk for unknown reasons, so you'll have to kill him to get him out, but we need him alive. We're giving you an experimental serum that'll give him the appearance of being dead, along with the antidote to bring him back once you're out. Something's very wrong at this clinic, 47. Keep your eyes open. You see that albino in here the other day? I thought he was a client. Turns out he was a doc. new dog, nurse? You know, the not-so-nice one. He kind of looked like an albino. I don't know who you're talking Welcome. About. You'll be well, staying in room A. Just step into the dressing room, room change sure into a robe, deal. and leave your clothes and personal effects for safekeeping.
Gonna have to search you, sir. Thanks. You're all set. Hi there, Craig Thurman. I'm the on-call therapist. A lot of the clients here find it's helpful to have someone to talk to. I'm always available if you need an ear. Just drop by my office. If I'm not in, there's always at least one of us around.
You. I should have known. Sedating me. Psychotropics. The things they've done. <sighs> Figures. They'd send you to clean up my mess. Th this is the guy. Here. I'm getting you out of here. They'll never let me out alive. I know. Identity obtained. Executing rest of assignment. Splendid, 47. It might interest you to know the following. A sudden shift in the delicate power balance of the New York families. Two low-level contracts just came in. In addition to your primary target, two members of the same group are currently staying at the facility. Terminating either will result in a $50,000 bonus per head. It's entirely up to you. Understood. when I normally take my session. I'll be in your office. Don't make me wait, huh?
I'm kind of an angry person, you know. I've always been real angry.
Getting a clearer picture? You had an agent on the inside, and 47 killed him? We've got it on videotape. The incident put us back on 47's tail, which eventually led to his destruction. You actually caught him? We didn't just catch your urban legend. We killed him. I assume you can prove this. I intend to give you incontrovertible evidence. But how? There was a bit player for the mob in a certain witness protection program. He was protected 24-7 by some of the most dedicated professionals we had. 47 came for him anyway. And you killed him? Bring out the car. Wait a second, Jack. Come on. You can't just leave me hanging. Bring the folder. We'll talk on the way. The way where? To your proof. Sending you down to the other end of the state, 47. The target's a gangster by the name of Vinny Sinistra. He's in a witness protection program pending a court appearance later this month. Our client wants to be sure Sinistra doesn't make it to the witness box. Sinistra's also got some hard evidence that can't be allowed to see the light of day. Our client thinks it may be on a bit of microfilm. Ensure that you retrieve it. Sinistra is extremely unstable and hasn't taken well to suburban life. They're having a birthday party for the youngest child on Sunday, and this may give you the angle you need to get in. The house is being monitored and protected by the feds, so extreme discretion is required. Tread lightly, 47. Top of the morning to you, friend.
So you didn't get it? It was quite a blow. That witness possessed information about the Ortmeier files or their location. Ortmeier files? Dr. Ortmeier ran an underground cloning lab in Romania. We raided it as soon as we learned about it, but someone beat us to it. They'd ransacked the place, grabbed all the files, and killed everyone that worked there, even Ortmeier. But that was the least of our concerns. What do you mean? We did find some papers later. Enough to prove that Dr. Ortmeier created Mr. 47. No one else has successfully created a Class I human clone. Dr. Ortmeier literally wrote the book. And somebody stole it. Not just somebody. Where's the nurse? Whoa. Sorry. I, I don't like being dependent. Something as simple as lighting a damn cigar, it's just... I apologize. Could you... Of course. So, who stole the research? We found a surveillance tape. It clearly showed Mr. 47 killing the guards and snapping poor Dr. Ortmeier's neck. So 47 wanted to build his own clones? More likely, he wanted to sell the research to the highest bidder. It lit a fire under everyone's asses. We threw everything we had at him. It's all there. Hello, 47. The American Secretary of the Interior is being targeted for assassination at today's Mardi Gras parade. We're not sure who's behind the hit, but our client wants you to prevent it by taking out the would-be assassins. There are three. The leader is Mark Pariah, Jr. His associates are Raymond Kolinsky and Angelina Mason. Kolinsky's a former world-class biathlete, so he's probably the trigger man. Mason is probably just recon and support. They're romantically involved and mentally unstable, so expect a violent reaction if either of them learns the other is dead. Their whereabouts are a mystery, but we've identified the payment on its way to them. The money should lead you straight to them. There'll obviously be a lot of civilians in the mix on this one, and a high-profile hit like this is bound to have backup units on site, so you'll have to be even more discreet than usual. There's the handoff. Follow that briefcase, 47. It's the only lead we've got. Well, goddamn, Billy Jack, I didn't expect to see you. Oh, yeah. Got me a whole new line of work. How's that waking out for you? Money's great, but the hours are kind of weird. I heard that. Can't remember last time I seen the sun. Suppose we all gotta make some kind of choices in life. I suppose we do. Most important vote of 
Right this way, partner. The boss man's been expecting. Just go up left and take them stairs up to the office. like I promised. A whole goddamn case. Hey, Bob. I'm in place over the salsa party at the Latino Fever Bar. I'm at the Latino Fever Bar, Blue Doll. Rocker's choice, baby boo. Polly's gonna want more than a cracker. Don't do anything stupid. Shop Alley, honey boo. You gonna fly south on me tonight, little birdie? I guess a bird in the hand is worth two in the bush, Boo.
At least you saved the secretary. Yes, and we found and killed one of Mr. 47's accomplices. He wasn't alone? No. They communicated by radio. 
What bothered us was the autopsy of the second assassin. He was a Class II clone. Class II? Fully functioning human clones, accelerated to adulthood. But they tend to die within 18 months of maturity. Tell me, just how widespread is human cloning? We can't know for sure. But I'm sure we'll see thousands within a few years. Why? Because of your jackalope president! He wants it legalized! Imagine that. The most insidious weapon the world has ever seen. And he wants to legalize it. <laughs> but the public... The public is an ass! Cloning is the ultimate weapon of mass destruction. It's a terrorist wet dream. But most Americans still support cloning, and... Hopefully. This interview will change a few minds. Maybe it'd help if they knew it was 47 that killed Chad Bingham's son. What? We even had our best agent on the spot. We were ready. Good to hear your voice again, 47. We got worried when you didn't get back to us. It was just a little thing requiring my attention. We've got an extremely delicate mission for you, if you're interested. Mm-hmm. Always interested. Just send me the briefing. Hello, 47. Your next assignment's in the Rocky Mountains. Senator Bingham is being blackmailed by pornography tycoon Lorne de Havilland, who has a compromising video of the senator's son, Chad. The video shows Chad playing a little too rough with a nightclub dancer during a creative sexual tryst at one of de Havilland's adult nightclubs. The girl didn't survive the encounter. Senator Bingham's involved in a tight re-election campaign. The video could cost him the election. So could any future misbehavior by his son. Our client wants Haviland and Chad taken out. He also wants the videotape. The clients arrange for Chad to attend de Haviland's annual tax day party at the Pawn Tycoon's mountain estate. We've got a recent photo of Chad, but de Haviland is camera shy, and the most recent picture we could get our hands on is 10 years old. This won't be easy, 47. The property isn't heavily guarded, but there'll be heavy security on the premises. Do anything stupid, pal.
This will give you the extra oomph you'll need to make the most of your time at the grotto, if you know what I mean. That Santa's been hitting the sauce pretty hard. Got a bottle of port in the kitchen. I hate a drunken Santa. I think the gubernatorial mistake is amusing himself out in the jacuzzi.
Hey there, stud.
Welcome to Mississippi, 47. A local gang known as the Gators handled the distribution of drugs up and down the Mississippi. The Gators move their merchandise on a tourist riverboat. Our client wants you to shut them down. Your job is to eliminate the six Gator crew members and their boss. The client also wants any documents you find in the boss's safe, which is somewhere on the upper deck. The Gators stay in their private area on the top two decks of the ship. Access to that area is limited. We have no other information. Keep up the good work, 47. Nobody shoot! Don't do anything stupid, pal. It's official. President Stewart delivered a rousing speech as he accepted his party's nomination on the final night of their... has to get hurt here.
get that cake up to the boss man, boy, and shake a leg. Gonna have to search you, sir. Thank you. You're all set. Thank you. 
nice leg, leg. Leg. Waiter. Beg your pardon, sir. Might I trouble you to direct a waiter in my direction? Mr. Julio. Thanks. Hmm. Code red. You forgot your tip. That's all right. I insist. On the table by the bathroom. Mississippi client. Margot Leblanc has married the leader of the Blue Claws. They were just married in a civil ceremony, but they'll be having a private ceremony for friends and family to celebrate. Your targets are the groom and the father of the bride. The bride herself is absolutely off limits. We ought to be able to get you back to civilization after this one.
congratulations. I don't believe I've had the pleasure of an introduction. Jacob Leiter. I'm a friend of your father's. Jacob Leiter. Well, now that does ring a bell. I'm afraid Daddy ain't feeling himself just now. I believe he's up in his room, but the crazy old coot won't let guests on to the second floor. I do so hope he'll come around before the ceremony. Maybe y'all can catch him then. I'll look forward to that, ma'am. Do, Padre.
today. We're gathered here today to see these two joined in matrimony. Margot LeBlanc, do you take this marriage, your husband? I do. Hank Leach, do you take this woman as your wife? Hell yeah. Then, I pronounce you married. Yeehaw! Now I'm gonna kiss me my bride. How do you, Padre? This is where his story ends. Whose story? 47's. I've been looking forward to this for a long, long time. It's not his funeral. It is. But you didn't get him in Mississippi. No. We got close. But he slipped away. He knew we were on him, now. He was running scared. Where'd he go? Where does anyone go for a last, desperate roll of the dice? Nice to be back in Civilization 47. It suited me. I had some business to attend to. Those missions out in the sticks may have bought us some time, but things are still deteriorating rapidly. We're still losing agents. You got the briefing? Yesterday. Got the pictures right here. Mohammed bin Faisal al-Khalifa, his scientist Tariq Abdul Latif, and Henrik Schmutz of South Africa. Interesting trio. The DNA angle is disturbing. This may tie into the group that's trying to liquidate us. Welcome to Las Vegas, 47. There's a white supremacist from South Africa. His name is Henrik Schmutz, who is trying to sell some DNA material and lab reports to the wealthy Saudi sheikh, Mohammed bin Faisal Al Khalifa. The Sheikh is working for someone else, but we're not sure who. Our client wants to force them into the open by disrupting the deal. You've got three targets. The Africana, the Sheikh, and the Sheikh scientist, who will be there to verify the material. We've been losing a lot of agents lately, 47. Any mission could be a setup at this point. Thank you. 
Welcome to the Shamal Hotel. If you wish to check in, the reception is located through these doors within the main reception area. Feel free to enjoy our casino or relax in the bar towards the back. We hope you enjoy your stay here in Las Vegas. Have a nice day. I have a reservation. The name is Krups. Let's see. There it is. Here's your key card. Our new key cards are floor specific, so they only give you access to the floor you're staying on. That's fine. Alrighty then. On behalf of Shamal Hotel and Casino, let me be the first to wish you a very pleasant stay, Dr. Kropes. Alrighty then. On behalf of Shamal Hotel and Casino, let me be the first to wish you a
Hendrik Schmutz. Yes, Sheikh Mohammed. Kabal, it's the Belalmas. The merchandise will be inspected before payment is delivered. It is merely prudence. Of course, you understand. Of course. It is a large casino. It is. Perhaps you'd like a drink? I'll pass. Yes, a very large casino.
It's over, 47. I'm closing shop at this end. This will be your last assignment. There are two targets. Varna Ketlin, a former Romanian circus performer who's now a big player in the global grey market, and a CIA operative who's been playing both sides of the fence. Ketlin's hosting a masquerade party at the Shark Club in Vegas, and the CIA op will be there to close a deal. Even if this job isn't a setup, your presence will almost definitely be expected. You're our only surviving agent, 47. Find out whoever it is that's been coming after us. Eliminate both targets, and anyone that targets you, and exit in the vehicle I'll have ready for you in the parking garage. You've been a very effective agent. It's been pleasant to work with you. I hope the future is kind to you. So that's the deal. The dirty CIA agent will be there to drop the high-tech weapons on the host. Eliminate both of them. Anything else? It'll probably be crawling with other enemy operatives. Have you identified them? They're paid by the franchise. The franchise? That's Parchesi's group. What's their business here tonight? I think you are. You and I are all that's left of the Agency 47, and I doubt I'll survive much longer. I'm sorry to hear that. Has my fee been transferred? More than usual. I'm splitting what's left of the Agency's resources with you. Good luck, 47. It's been quite a ride. Good luck yourself. I left my briefcase here this afternoon. I was told it would be held in the staff room there. Could I have it, please? No one told me about any briefcase. Are you saying it's been stolen? Hold on, hold on, I'll check. Thanks. You're all set. Enjoying the party so far, sir? So far. Some pretty amazing babes, huh? You catch a singer? Damn, is she hot. Terrible singer, though. I hadn't noticed. 
Oh yeah, I had a great singer lined up, but she had a fatal accident yesterday. And they needed a real quick replacement. Go figure. This babe can't sing for diddly, and she goes running off for a break in a private room every five minutes, but who cares? Eye candy like that, you take what you can get. I'll keep that in mind. Having a good time, sir? I suppose so. How about you? Tell you the truth, I'm dying for a chance at that hottie singing. First break I get, I'm heading straight to that room over there where she hangs out between sets.
You are darling. We can mix our business and pleasure in here. Follow me. Mr. 47, the fates conspire to throw us together at last. I appreciate your enthusiasm. Don't be coy with me, 47. I know all about you. You're just the ungainly outcome of a childish experiment with genetic tinker toys. Super assassin, indeed. You're less than human, and I intend to prove it. How do you intend to do that? We're going to duel. Meet me in the room marked Torture Chamber. and second-best assassins. Only the former will leave this room alive. The soundproofing will prevent any interruptions. Your equipment is positioned by the couch. Arm yourself appropriately, my mutant adversary, and we'll commence. If that's what you want.
What are you, an undertaker? Get lost. Get out of here, buddy, or there's gonna be trouble. Hey, 47. Ow, oh, hey! It's me! It's me! Stop! It's me! I'm cool! Come on! Ah! What are you doing here? Just relax, please. You're my only hope. There's no one else. Your only hope for what? They're gonna kill the president. Don't want him re-elected. He'll legalize cloning, ruin their plans. Who are they? You know... them. Already got a cloning program. Want the technology to themselves. They can have it. I don't play politics. Now give me one good reason why I shouldn't put a bullet in your head. I've got millions. Got the diamonds back there. Red suitcases worth millions. All yours. What's the job? They want to hit the president in three days. In the White House. You get in there, protect him, take the assassins out. Show me the money. <gasps> Thank God. Here's some. You get the rest after. What do you say? I'll contact you with instructions on how to get me the rest of the money up front. And how to get me the mission details. But then how can I be sure that- If you're on the level, I'll do the job. If you're not, you won't be needing the money. I thought you said you killed him. It was a very brief reprieve. We raided the agency a few days ago. You got him at his office? No. But the office has been closed and will not open again. You got the Ortmeier files? They're still in circulation. But we learned that the files are almost entirely useless without a fresh bone marrow sample from 47. So even dead, he's a threat. Only until he's cremated. About 20 minutes from now. How'd you finally get him? He got overconfident and greedy. He took on the most difficult, most highly paid assassination attempt in history. The presidential attack? The very one you asked about at the start of our conversation. Ready to hear how it really went down? Quite pleased to have you on this assignment, Mr. 47. The nation's gratitude... Skip the patriotism, Smith. Of course. <laughs> have you read the briefing? Not yet. Give me the big picture. The Vice President of the United States is plotting with Mark Parchezzi. I assume you're familiar with him? I know his work. Good. They're planning to assassinate the President as soon as he gets back from Los Angeles. Another drink, sir? Please. There's more detailed info on both men in the briefing. Can I do anything else for you? I'm looking forward to finally working with you. I'll contact you if I need more information. Beyond that, never contact me in person again. Sorry, gentlemen. My niece's birthday. Happy birthday, sweetheart. Did you get your present? It's everything I've ever wished for. My own access card to the White House. Is the roof alarm taken care of? Yes, Pumpkin. Everything is just fine. I'm afraid Uncle has to go now. I'll call you back later and we can talk all about your party. <laughs> you know how little girls are. Listen up, 47. The President of the United States is about to be assassinated. You'd expect the CIA, FBI, or Secret Service to prevent the assassination, but we can't rely on them. We can't rely on them 
because the man behind this assassination is the acting vice president. The same shadowy group that got him appointed to the vice presidency wants to put him into the Oval Office. They've got pull at every domestic agency. The assassins are probably already in position, in the White House. Unless you can stop them, the president will almost certainly be assassinated as soon as he returns from Los Angeles. Your targets are the notorious assassin, Mark Parchezzi III, and the vice president himself. through the machine, you go through the detector. Nice to see a little extra security at the White House. Daniel, I'm talking to you. Justice needs her walk.
You're the famous Mark Percesi III. You don't want to kill me, 47. I'm just like you. Our similarities are irrelevant. We're practically brothers. You can't shoot me. I can do whatever I'm paid to. Me, 47, Diana. 
What are you doing here? Easy. I had to sneak in. The place is surrounded by hundreds of SWAT members right now. They're getting ready to move in. I had to warn you, there's still time for you to escape. I've got a plan. I don't buy it. You've got nothing to gain here. The smart play would have been getting out of the country. Out of the country? We're dealing with a franchise here, 47. Borders don't stop them. You're my last chance. You know my terms. Cash on the nail. Don't you get it? You have to fight them. But if you try to do it alone, you're a dead man. Death is always a risk. Read carefully, 47. It's a bold plan. Where is this wheelchair guy right now? Ah! Ah! Bitch! Ah! Sorry, but this is the only way. You would have fought them whatever I said, and you would have lost. You're buying me one more night. We've got four minutes before he's called, people. Let's move. I've never actually killed a man before. It was surprisingly pleasant. Very nicely done, Diana. You've earned my trust. Welcome to the franchise. I'm sure we'll find an appropriate role for you in the organization. A woman like yourself is entitled to a very special role, indeed. assassination attempt was the most reported story since 9-11. How can you expect me to believe that- I don't expect you to believe anything but your eyes. This videotape confirms his presence in the White House moments before the assassination. I'll be damned. If cloning isn't outlawed, we'll all be damned. Who actually killed him? That's the most delicious irony of all. He stumbled coming over the compound wall, severed his spinal cord on the rocks. The world's most nefarious assassin died of clumsiness. How'd you confirm his identity? His DNA includes signature sequences from the five men of the Ortmeier project. It's biologically impossible for anyone but the Ortmeier clone to have that DNA. You're giving me all this as an exclusive. Why me? We admire your objectivity, Rick. Thank you. Don't mention it. We need to get to the chaplain. 47's ashes are going to take pride of place on my mantle. Chaplain! Chaplain!
secret safe with me. I swear to God, I won't tell a soul. <laughs> Yes, Your Majesty. Almost all of our resources are online again. No, I'm afraid he's not, Your Majesty. We seem to have completely lost track of him. Ah, hello, uh, Mr. Johnson. Welcome, Mr. Johnson. Welcome. May I check your briefcase? No, I'll keep it. I've heard interesting things about your establishment. I'd like to see what you have to offer. Preferably in the back. Uh, of course, sir. Uh, right this way. <laughs> <laughs> 